joint mode. The Artisan controller is a PC-based controller designed to provide the functional control of the Artisan manipulator arm. The system is designed to accept input commands from the operator via the twin 3-axis joysticks and compute the required demand to drive each joint. Safety Notices the Artisan 100 controller is powered by 120 volt AC single phase main supplies with a continuous rating of 20 amps. This power is supplied to the controller via an interconnect cable from the HPU. Power to the HPU is 480 volts 3 phase. Only trained personnel should operate the Artisan system. Contact New Vision Engineering for details of available training courses. Artisan can be operated in different modes. Joint mode is the basic mode when joysticks control the position of the individual joints of the artisan manipulator arm. To enter joint mode, check the system. Computer is on and does not display warnings. Pump is running. Ready green light on the console is on. Press the joint mode button. In joint mode, each artisan joint is mapped to a single joystick axis. Joystick number one is located on the right side of the middle section of the control console. This joystick controls the first three joints, torso, shoulder, and elbow. In joint mode, one joystick can move only one joint. Joint number one. Moving joystick one to the right or left will move the manipulator joint number one, which we call torso. The base rotate module includes the torso rotate actuator, resolver, and base plate. The torso provides 360 degrees of rotation, plus or minus 180 degrees. When observing the manipulator arm from the back of the mounting plate, moving joystick one to the right will turn the arm clockwise. Moving joystick one to the left will turn the arm counterclockwise. Joint number two. Moving joystick one up or down will move the manipulator joint number two, which we call shoulder. The shoulder joint consists of a linear hydraulic actuator and joint mounted resolver. The shoulder rotate max is plus 104 degrees and minus 24 degrees. When observing the manipulator arm from the side, moving joystick one up will move the arm from the shoulder joint up to plus 104 degrees. Moving joystick one down will move the arm from the shoulder joint down through zero to minus 24 degrees. Joint number three. Rotating joystick one clockwise or counterclockwise will move the manipulator joint number three, which we call elbow. The elbow joint consists of a linear hydraulic actuator and joint mounted resolver. Elbow rotates max plus 104 degrees and negative 24 degrees. When observing the manipulator arm from the side, rotating joystick one clockwise will move the arm from the elbow joint up to plus 104 degrees. Rotating joystick one counterclockwise will move the arm from the elbow joint down through zero to negative 24 degrees. Joystick number two is located on the left side of the middle section of the control console. This joystick controls the lower part of the manipulator, wrist rotation, wrist pitch, and jaw rotation. In joint mode, one joystick can only move one joint. Joint number four. Moving joystick two to the right or left will move the manipulator joint number four, which will rotate the wrist. The wrist rotate contains a rotary drive actuator and resolver that provides 360 degrees of rotary motion plus or minus 180 degrees. When observing the manipulator arm from the back of the mounting plate, moving joystick 2 to the right will turn the wrist clockwise. Moving joystick 2 to the left will turn the wrist counterclockwise. Joint number five. Moving joystick two up or down will move the manipulator joint number five, which will tilt the wrist. The wrist pitch is part of a multi-axis wrist module. The wrist pitch joint consists of a linear hydraulic actuator which provides 90 degrees of angular movement. When observing the manipulator arm from the side, moving joystick two will move the arm from the wrist joint up to plus 90 degrees. 
Moving joystick 2 down will move the arm from the wrist joint down to 0 degrees. Joint number 6. Rotating joystick 2 to the right or left will move the manipulator joint number 6 which will rotate the jaw. The jaw rotation joint is driven by a hydraulic motor and provides continuous 360 degrees of rotary motion. When observing the manipulator arm from the back of the mounting plate, rotating joystick 2 clockwise will turn the wrist clockwise. Rotating joystick 2 counterclockwise will turn the wrist counterclockwise. Extension of the joystick's movement controls the joint speed. A joystick farther from a center position generates faster joint movement. By operating two joysticks simultaneously, two axes can be moved at the same time. The center single axis joystick is for opening and closing the jaw. Moving the joystick up opens the jaw. While moving the joystick down it closes the jaw. The jaw assembly is arranged as a parallel gripping mechanism with a maximum opening of approximately 6 inches. The closing force of the jaw is dependent on the jaw force setting. There are four preset jaw force settings available from the command center. Low, 2, 3, and high. Each of the four settings controls the maximum grip pressure of the jaw.